Fantaters, hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, what's up? My name's Erica. I hope you, uh, you know, maybe like the vibe, go ahead and uh, subscribe and give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. I hope you guys can appreciate that while my life is in shambles and I'm in a hotel room and hotel rooms for the last few weeks, I feel like I've been relatively on top of my content as much as I can be considering I am at the mercy of hotel and like Starbucks Wi-Fi in order to get videos uploaded. But I feel like I've been doing pretty good. So if you, uh, if you're a regular, you probably already know the gist. But they're doing construction in my apartment if you are new. So uh, I am not able to go home. And I have not been home for like the last three weeks, I think now. <sighs> Not ideal, but we're still making content, we're still having a good time, and we are still appreciating life. Today, we have a quite large package. Um, if you saw on Instagram, which, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go ahead and give me a follow over there. I, today, want to do a Princess Polly haul. Now, Princess Polly is definitely a very, like, social media brand. I feel like I see it on Instagram and, like, influencers sponsored and like this video is in collaboration with princess polly all the time which is great which is cool they're pretty cool brand so far that i've seen but i will say a lot of the time those ladies are uh you know much 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 more petite than i am and so for a while it kind of turned me off the brand i just didn't want to try it because i never really saw anyone on the website who looks like me representation matters am i right so, here I am, your fun, loving, curvy cutie, here to do another curvy girl review. I'm excited. I have one dress that I bought that did kind of prompt me to want to do this video and order and, like, see what else they have on their website. Kind of give it more of a, you know, give it the good old college try. Um, that dress isn't in this video because I left it in the car, but pop a clip here. I feel so cute. <laughs> cute, right? So we've got a whole other package. We're going to go through. We're going to do first reactions because I actually don't really remember what I bought. But for reference, I am 5'4", roughly around 215 pounds. Um, I'm a size 36 double D and usually like a large pretty all around for most brands in general um in terms of numbers i tier between like a 10 and a 12 i think so that's just my own stats now princess polly i will say is an australian based brand which i do think affects the sizing anytime i think i've gotten from australian based brands usually things tend to run small except the brand that i work with right away they run pretty true to size in my experience but um yeah, all right, let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, I got, what did I get? Oh my gosh. Look at this little packaging. That's cute. There's like little stars. There is an interesting mix. So some's got like crinkle packaging and some has like these cool stars. Okay, so first things first on the blue list. Um, well, let's start with this one. Ooh, okay, I do already like the material. Oh, that's a nice design. Wow. Okay, that feels much more quality than I thought it was gonna be. So this is the Laura tie-dye long sleeve top in blue. I got it in a size 12 US. I think this was on sale. This was only like $10. I think this was one of the only sizes left that like I thought would have fit me. I was thinking between a 10 and a 12 with this, but I got the 12 because they didn't have a 10. And it's also a 16 AU, so on these sizes. Um, if you're in the UK, I'm sorry. We just apparently don't have your sizing listed on here, which is surprising because I feel like Aussie in the UK, they tend to be tend to be cousins, you know? Um, but so this is the design. Look how pretty. It's like a tie-dye, but not too obnoxious tie-dye. And then the back little bit of spicy it does look like it's gonna be like a modest crop so not too crazy cropped uh, actually hmm maybe with my boobies okay 
This is also, I think this is something I bought just because it was on sale and I was like, this is perfect for fall, is the uh, all night cap in red. So it's obviously like a red plaid. This was, I think, $8 because it was on sale. It's just like a standard baseball cap, but I just love the plaid pattern. It's like, I don't think it's red and black plaid. It might be, it might be this lighting. I am sorry also, I feel like a hotel lighting is not it. Cute, cute, imagine with like a nice sweater. Oh my God, actually this might go well. I might have accidentally bought an outfit. I never do that, but that's pretty cool, right? So cute, fits well. It has a, um, this like a buckle type of adjusting. So yeah, compared to like a snap, I actually don't like snaps, I like buckles much better. And the metal on the buckle doesn't feel like the most the most incredible quality but it's not the worst either and also the hat itself feels really nice okay so next up is the smith mini dress in black i got it in a size 12. this was something that when i bought the peach and white checkered dress this was like oh if you like this you might like this so i figured why not the material is very interesting i don't know how to describe that it's like a very clothy very clothy um but the inside feels like very like sleek does that make sense but it feels like nice and durable um and it's like a black cap sleeve but then the back it like ties mid oh it ties at the top and then you can actually there's a tie string at the back so you can actually like it's like a drawstring I really noticed that detail but I guess you can kind of tighten this which would be probably nice on the waist because it helps to like suck in the waist a little bit more um I really I think I don't think this wouldn't fit because again it was very similar to the orange dress but I like it was kind of just basic but not exactly the same like the material is much thicker overall so and again that might pair well with my hat though I can't tell is this blue or is this black what do you think? Vote. Vote or comment down below if you think this is red and black plaid or red and blue plaid. Because I can't tell. This one, this is a bit of a wild one for me. I don't ever buy this item online unless I've tried it on or I'm very confident in the brand already. I bought a pair of jeans. Okay, I got these in a 12. It does not seem like a stretchy denim, so. Um, also, they seem very, very long. I know you can't see. Should I stand on my chair? Is that disrespectful? It's a hotel. See how long they are? That's quite long, I think. Um, hmm. I think they're really high waisted, too. Look at that. That's like a lot of pant. <sighs> okay, well. I'm gonna try and see what it is. I do, they do feel good quality. They weren't crazy, crazy expensive. Like I feel like some jeans nowadays are like in the hundreds. I think these were like 50 or 60. Still a pretty penny for a pair of pants, I think. Oh, that's soft. This is the USA sweater in cream. I got it in a 10 and it's definitely still gonna be nice and oversized. I feel like I accidentally did create a cool little outfit, matching like this, with the hat, with the jeans if they actually fit, like, this is fashion. I am actually not sure how I felt. I was, I put this on first, thinking this was definitely gonna be a winner, and I don't know how I feel. I think the fit is nice, the, fit, the material is nice, the length, nice, it's actually not too crazy short. I always find that especially because of my bigger hips, bigger thighs, and like my booty that like that mini dresses usually aren't that good on me um, unless they're like tight. Something about these ones, like a lot of times my booty will make it shorter, but I actually think it's a really nice length. Um, it took me a couple tries to figure out the weird tie thing and you have to tie it quite tight because it also helps to bring this in because I've got a little bit of side boob fat, like 
action, you know, those kind of like wings you get a little bit. I got a little bit of that action, but not too much. I think I definitely had way more like side boob in the orange dress, but it was also a different material. Now, I will say I don't think my boobs fit this very well. I don't know if it's because this isn't as supportive as with the orange one. And the sleeves, they do feel a bit tight, but they do have an elastic, but the elastic is quite tight. But at the same time, like, there's a few inches of stretch. Um, but it doesn't, like, coddle your boobs as much, so I feel like my boobs could wiggle around a little bit more than I would want them to. Now, I did have a little bit of trouble tying it, so I think also maybe tying that, the top, tying this top strap a bit tighter would also help, you know, hoist and whatnot, keep it a bit more secure. Okay, actually, I'm lying. The more I'm wearing it, the more I'm like, wait, I do kind of like it. Obviously, the hat could kind of go with it. Not sure if this is a vibe. Maybe with some, like, chunky boots. I just have my white socks on because I randomly have my sneakers in, in, in the hotel room. All my other shoes are in the car. Sorry, I'm not, like, a proper fashionista YouTube reviewer. We'll get there eventually, okay? Um, I had to scoop my boobs in to actually get them in, and they're not gonna stay for sure. And clearly these pants do not even go over my hips. So that's a shame, but. Okay, last but not least, we then have the USA jumper. I was hoping it was gonna be fine. I mean, if this didn't fit, then there's definitely something weird with their sizing. Um, it is really nice and oversized. I don't know if it's really marketed as oversized, but I got a 10 and it's like nice and oversized on me. You get a lot of space, especially in the body, but it does kind of taper to the waist, which is kind of nice. So you have this like big bagginess hair, but it does still taper to the waist. A lot of times, me with oversized hoodies, they fit really weird, so like they either this waistband is too tight, so then they'll be really baggy here, but then they'll stop like that on me. This one does naturally sit a little bit lower, which I do like, and it's nice and soft inside. I think my one and only qualm is that the uh, sleeves are a bit loose. Like if you see, like there's a decent amount of space there, which is fine, but like then it leads to a lot of that. So I probably will cuff them maybe, because that looks stupid. Maybe that looks dumb. But I mean, this is a fit. These are my leggings. These are just leggings. But, so luckily this fits and it's super soft, which is nice. I really just hope that the um, the logo doesn't like wash or crack too much. I hope there's washing instructions about that. At least we saved it with the jumper because after the uh, this little debacle, the jeans, I did have a fear that the jeans weren't gonna fit. Like. I know that, I know my shape is, you know, I feel like, yes, it's nice to be like slim thick, and that's like what's really desirable nowadays, but also when they say slim thick, a lot of times they don't actually mean like jiggly, wiggly thick, I feel like they just mean like muscular, if that makes sense, like honestly girls on Instagram, they're like, oh, I got thick thighs, and I'm like, you have muscular thighs, but they're like, like they're thick muscular, not just like thick. Like I'm just thick, you know? Like they're thick and muscular and toned. I just got a lot of wiggle going on there. Um, with this top, I do feel like in terms of the boobage situation, I mean, I don't have the perkiest, cutest little, little itty bitties. If you do have more petite boobs, um, or even again, if they are a bit perkier, mine, but um, this for me would be cute with a bra. With a bra, I'd be fine. But then it kind of defeats the purpose of that little cute backlessness. These jeans, however, complete disaster. Not sure if I'm gonna return them right away or if I'm gonna save them for like, as I keep losing weight. I have mixed feelings about doing that sometimes, you know? Cause it's like, then you don't wanna keep seeing them and be like, oh, I still don't fit into them and then feel bad about it. Because that's the things that like, you're on your own journey, you're taking it at your own pace, at least I am, but Sometimes it's nice to have a goal item if it's like slightly there. But I feel like these would, these might be a little bit too long of a goal item for me. I'm not sure. We'll have a think about it. 
I did also want to remind you though that your size and the number on the scale does not determine your worth okay your worth comes from inside here and inside here so um don't let the you know the size and things like that ruin you i could have easily been like oh my god i'm not making any progress with these jeans like where's a pair of jeans who the heck cares you know overall i feel like princess polly I'd say they're medium tier curvy. I wouldn't say they're curvy girl approved. They're curvy girl. But they're also not denied. Is there a middle? They're on like the curvy girl wait list. Is that funny? Or is that just silly? I feel like they're on the curvy girl wait list. We're waiting to see like if they do more as a brand. Because I will say um, in most of the brands, I'm a large. And usually there's at least like XLs and things like that. And I think for most items, I was picking the largest size they had, which was a size like 10 or 12. And some items they didn't even have in that size. Not because it was sold out, just because they didn't have that item in that size. All in all, I mean, they do have cute stuff. So, I don't know. Comment down below if you'd want to see a part two of this video. Maybe trying again in another few weeks. Or if you guys see things that you think I should try. And review let me know um, and please give this video a thumbs if you did like it and if you're new here and you liked it please subscribe as well because it helps my channel out and uh, besides that I'll check you guys later good boy